valley I've seen the stars come on I crossed over oceans But you're the perfect storm Your poetry in motion I've never seen nothing like you Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to be here today, and thank you for Denise and Jordan. I just asked you, Lord, to just bless their lives. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this beautiful evening you've given us, Lord, to join these two, Lord, and we just thank you for the love that you give us every day, Lord. Jordan and Denise, we are so excited to gather here today for the renewing of your vows. Many people believe that entering into marriage is the final step in a romantic relationship. A couple meets, get to know one another and fall in love, and they decide they want to spend their entire lives together, and then they take the final step, marriage. But marriage is hardly the final step. Rather, it's the beginning of what I call a grand adventure. You have shared the joys and blessings and challenges of marriage and life for an entire year. Today, you want to reaffirm your commitment to working together and ensuring your marriage thrives for years to come. May this renewing of your vows that you took to become husband and wife remind you that despite the stresses and adversity in everyday life, your love, your respect, your trust, and understanding of each other will continue to increase your commitment and heighten your joy in living while growing closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jordan and Denise, today you have renewed the vows you made to each other on your amazing wedding day. One of my favorite weddings I've ever done. And you got baptized right afterwards. You have symbolized the renewal of your union by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and by wearing of your rings. I now pronounce the renewal of vows of Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Denise Broombaugh. Jordan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> 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 Your first thing 